Hello, my name is Cesar Castro, aka CC Spearfishing, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be going over video footage I have of me shooting my very first black grouper. I shot it in around probably 70 feet on a wreck. This fish really made me work for him, and from the footage you'll be able to see just how a little risky it was in me evaluating the situation and just getting that fish on the boat. I have also some other clips of me shooting fish two days later or one day later. I shot two permit and one mutton snapper. Some great video. I had a lot of fun with my buddy Kaysen and my friend Eric Sellers and Bailey Utt. But yeah, that's all. Enjoy the video. So in this first clip, I'm diving in about 90 feet of water, 90 feet to the sand, and then 70 feet to the top of the wreck. See these blacks pretty much everywhere. Good shot. When the shaft goes limp right there, I actually did think he popped off, but you can hear him wiggle around just right there. Heading up, I was just super excited to get my first black on the boat because time and time again, I've just haven't been able to land one. It has been pretty hot in the water, so they haven't been around, but my first one. It's a block! So on this dive down, I'm mainly just trying to evaluate what is going on down there because if that fish managed to get inside the wreck, it would be a pretty close call to just call the whole thing because risking your life for a fish is just insane. But my buddy went down with another gun. He put a secured shot inside the head of the fish. I went down just to evaluate what we would have to do, maybe pull my shaft out if I could, but it was actually wrapped around a beam of the of the ship. So there's no pulling that out. I would have to cut my line. I didn't have a good enough breathe up to actually do that all in one dive, but I do it on my next dive. This dive, I could have gotten a better breathe up, but I don't know. I rushed it a little bit. I didn't have the best breathe up to go down. I I knew I had enough air to just go down. That's that's the black grouper from my buddy. Freaking pulling on the fish, trying to to up a nice platter to the bull sharks. But right there, you can see the knife that I dropped. I actually didn't notice it at the time because I was just razor focused on getting that, um, getting that cut, but I head up with my black grouper, you can see my shot, it wasn't too great, but still a great holding shot. You can't see it in the footage, but my friend Kaysen was actually pushing me up. Not too healthy. This is me one day later picking up my knife. I actually did buy a new knife. But now I have two knives. So in this clip, this was later that day that I shot that Black Reaper. It was on Friday. I needed ceviche. I was mainly looking for a yellow jack, but I just couldn't seem to get one that day. I didn't even see one. But mm -mm -mm. I see a nice triggerfish. Triggerfish are okay. I just don't like filleting them because they mess up my knife. They're not bad. I'd rather have a yellow jack though. This one's nice. I was really patient with it. Line up. A nice stone shot. So this dive from here on is actually 
clips I have from Sunday. Clips of four were from Friday, but this is Sunday, two days later. Like I said, I wanted those yellow jacks, but my friend was trying to call him and I kind of messed him up. I went in front of him and spooked him. But I see a nice school of permit. Love permit. Permit are great. I tried. I, I just wanted the chop to the fish, you know, just to secure it, but I could have been a little bit more patient and gotten a stone shot. Actually, that fish could have ripped my gun out. If it was any any bigger of a fish, it probably would have ripped my gun out and I would have lost my gun because my rigging was incorrect. You can see that it got wrapped up. And then in a second, you can see even closer that my Dyneema is wrapped around twice on the guide. See right there. That is no bueno. So I'm just grateful that I was holding on to my gun. This is my third permit I've ever shot. I shot two this day. But yeah, beautiful fish. They're pretty fun to shoot. Probably gonna stop shooting them soon. Because they're just a little too easy. I need to get a nice yellow jack, because I've never shot a huge yellow jack before. This is my friend Kason, he shot a very nice yellow jack. After securing those two fish, I hop back in and wait on the surface for another school of yellow jack or a school of permit. See a nice trio of permit come in. Pick out which one I want. The one that I shot at actually looked the most mature. That pool of blood is a very good sign showing that the fish is actually very badly wounded so he's more likely to be landed but yeah he still had plenty of energy though but he was he was a smaller fish i i could have handled him permit are pretty fun to shoot this dive, I secured a 26 inch mutton. Usually you don't see mutton like this. I was talking about this, talking about this mutton to my friend Kai. He said that there are like two types of muttons, deep water mutton and then shallow water mutton. The mutton that I shot was actually a deep water. You could tell he wasn't, he wasn't too smart. Most mutton that I see, they're a little faster than this guy. But he was pretty mellow. He wasn't giving me the giving me the broadside that I wanted. I shot the fish a little low. I didn't mean to, I meant to get it in the head. But I figured since I shot him low, I'd let him take spool me out and work this fish from above. It actually ended up getting wrapped up on the bottom. But not too bad. I didn't get any footage of working it, but it wasn't too, too crazy. My buddy dove down, he moved the line a little bit, and it just popped out. Beautiful fish. Now in this clip, I just wanted to show how agile and how much intuition these fish can have. I'm diving down on around probably 40 feet looking for fish. I was chumming barracuda and dead fish all over, just trying to get fish to come in. Around this time, a nice Kubera rolls in. Line up a shot. And I miss. That Kubera actually had a little mark on the left of him 
I, I bet a couple scales were missing, but that fish will be fine. He completely dodged my spear. Before ending this video, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that watched to the very end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave a comment. Tell me something. And yeah, have a great day everybody. Bye-bye.